Today's game is coming to you live from Hexon, Texas at the raucous AK-47 Stadium, home of the $10 Bible Beer and Bullet Combo Meal. The crowd is armed, overzealous, and drunk, so basically a normal Sunday here in Hexon. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The New London Patriots take on the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey, man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. Second down and five. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Third down and five. Oh, it's a brain scrambler. And it looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Oh, that was a great throw and a great catch. Yeah, but, but it was an interception. Oh, uh, yeah. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. First and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. First down and three. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and two. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. No, you didn't. You know why? It's like too fast. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And a 
another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Mm, it helps. And he's off to the races. The 10. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And he held on to that one for a first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? I, I... Nice run for five yards. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second down and five. Six. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high risk ball. Boom! Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. He can go all the way. Here comes the defense. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And it's 
First and ten. totally uncalled for and that's why we love the MFL and that'll be second down and four and the ball razors through the defense cutting a defender in half is the dance of someone who knows they can negotiate for more money next year. I call that shake, rattle, and bone. <laughs> hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. And they run it in for two points. We've got a nail-biter at the end of one. Here comes the kicker. Ma, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned out the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Is this deja vu? This is like our Brazilian season, dumbass. Actually, I think he's talking about the time warp dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Sandwich. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down to five. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> first down and forever. Another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have 
more. Oh, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. And it's first and ten. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. First and ten. First down. Give this guy a few. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. Second down and two. They get their hands up and block the pass. Third and two. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. This guy's up in a hard run there, picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Destruction in his path. And he breaks away. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for five yards. Second down and five. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and ten. Second down and a lot. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 90.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say great?
greatest hits? Wham! It's not that big men can't dance, it's that they shouldn't. And you're looking at the reason why. No, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Uh, and the ball is lateral, and it plows forward for the two-point conversion. No matter how many years in the league, I gotta tell you, this don't get any less scary. Oh. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. With the vicious kill! Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. Second down and two. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. First down! QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And it's first and ten. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. He's going to hit him now. He's going to hit And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. the punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. Is he dead? Uh, nah, he's still moving. Crap. I have money on him biting the big one. If he don't die soon, my loan shark is gonna kill me. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's mad stupid time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Second day, timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so popular with the other kids. The ones Boom, get him down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was he can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. Game for most kickers should be it's a jailbreak and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref oh crowd's loving it 
Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Damn, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsanto Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull crap and vodka jello shot day. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And he's up. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. He's in the 20. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. First and eight to go. Oh, man, he won. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and five. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. He is really getting down out there. You know, he spends most of his days roasting in the pits of hell, so he's got to make the most of every opportunity to dance. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that. Over the offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the oh, Come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. <laughs> First and two. Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it.
Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably trapped his pants. And it's first and ten. Second down and six. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else can. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe up. Is that right, Grim? That penalty makes no sense. Hey, yeah, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. First down and less than a defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First and eight to go. and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. <laughs> Second down and long. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. He's not going down. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And it's first and ten. says who's next now the old broke back mountain play got hit by a mountain of newton got his back broken and now he's in a mountain of pain the defense uses a time warp dirty trick to erase that last play having all those team physicists really paid off and you said they were crazy Dead and down. He just sent a message. 
message with that hit? Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. Second down in a very lot. And it's first and ten. He caught it! And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's hit the 40. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Hey, have you seen my beer? And it's first and ten. <laughs> well, one yard is back. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diet. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico. Forever! Crack their pants! Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but he got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. It's a touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. Just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant bingo. All I need is. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> and 
And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And that'll be second and eight to go. I hope they covered your ears, Rich, because that was... And he snatches that one out of the air for a first... Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First down and five. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, that didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. And it's first and ten. Lohan's nose hits a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. First down and seven. <laughs> and he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Well, they say humans are the best dancers. Are we invented dancing? Really? I thought it was demons. No, it was a human possessed by a demon. Get on up. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we are, Grim. Aren't we are. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about the Hicks and Oilers get crushed literally and lose by forfeit today. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. God, I love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so 